What, what helped to mold your mind in hormone, being a yeah. homeowner? So I really wanted to give credit to this mindset to my parents, okay. mainly because like being Nigerian, they kind of um, inceded that idea of passing down wealth to different your younger generations. Mm. So it was easy for me to pick up on that and realize, okay, what am I going to do for my generations down the line. How do I help my brothers, not only my brothers, but like my future disciples? Welcome to Sold 100 TV. Right, welcome back to Sold 100 Real Estate TV, where we answer a lot of real estate questions and uh, live and direct. My name is Billy Okoye. I'm here to anchor the show. Today we have in our office uh, one of the very, very, very great clients that we had this year, 18 year old guys. A lot of folks are waiting to turn 18 so they can turn it up. But this young man waited, hoped, did everything he could to be able to have his key for his 18th birthday. So today I'm gonna uh, let him introduce himself and he's done great in too many things, he's done great. I'm not sure introducing himself will be hard. All so, right. can we know who you are? Awesome. My name is Jason O'Corey. I'm currently going to University of Maryland. Mm -hmm. um, I'm the eldest of three brothers. I grew up under um, two Nigerian parents. I'm from Nigeria. Awesome. Awesome. Um, so, he's a big brother. He's got uh, two brothers. I don't want to call them younger baby brothers, but he's got two brothers. And they are obviously looking forward to, um, in the, looking up to you, right? Yes, sir. All right. So um, the main thing here is that you, you unlike other 18-year-olds, um, looked up to not turning it up when they turn 18, but you were looking forward to, you know, buying a property. Um, so we're here this afternoon just to talk about, you know, discuss your your entire experience in, um, you know, growing up and becoming such a talented young man. What's your background um, in growing up? You, you play you play foot, soccer, you play football. What is it? What's your background before this? Growing up, um, I grew up with two younger brothers. We were always competitive, and so we always played sports every single time. We would go out running, jumping, playing, like anything, you name it. Okay. Um, I love to play soccer growing up. Uh, we also played basketball too, so we were very competitive when it came to basketball. Oh, okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Okay. So, and then um, come high school, um, getting into college, when, what was it like thinking about home ownership? What, what helped to mold your mind in homeowner, being a yeah. homeowner? So I really wanted to give credit to this mindset to my parents, okay. mainly because like being Nigerian, they kind of um, inceded that idea of passing down wealth to different your younger generations. Mm. So it was easy for me to pick up on that and realize, okay, what am I going to do for my generations down the line. How do I help my brothers, not only my brothers, but like my, my future disciples who come out of me. Oh wow. So I think that really was given to my parents. Oh wow, that's deep. That's deep. So it's future disciples. So you're a disciple of your parents. Correct? Exactly. Yes. And for the folks who don't understand what that means, it's just really his own children. You know what I mean? So you were a disciple of your parents and your parents instilled in you that they're gonna hand over, you know, assets to you. And now at 17, you started to think about what will I hand over to my own disciples? Yes, sir. Awesome, awesome. All right, so um, when you thought about that, what was the planning? Um, how did you get to, you know, because to buy a property, first thing you wanna do is get a pre-approval. Mm -hmm. um, just so the bank can tell you, this is how much we can lend you. How did you get to, through that process? to know how much, and then the search for the property began and all that. So that first stage started off with building my credit. And I was fortunate enough because my mom had us all start off with our credit really young. Okay. So like, I know growing up at like 16, she had us um, under her credit card. That way it would help us build our credit over time. Nice. And then she would use her credit card to pay off like small loans, like small, small expenses, nothing mm. too drastic. 
but that was slowly growing my credit over the time. By the time that I had turned 18, then I had a more ground basis on where to start. Nice. Nice. And how about employment? Because you do need credit to buy a house. You also need employment. Mm -hmm. Were you, what was your first job? Where did, where did you pick up your first job? So my first job, it was actually McDonald's. Was it? Yeah, it was my <laughs> McDonald's. Big shout out. Big shout out to McDonald's. Big shout out to McDonald's. <laughs> and then during my 18 um, birthday, that was when I started um, working at Two jobs actually during the summer so i was really grinding hmm. i worked at both chick-fil-a as a delivery driver and then i also worked at dunkin donuts as a shift leader so um i spent most of my summer basically working those two jobs basically to get the money in to start investing into property oh wow wow so that's 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 a hustler right there gentlemen um you guys can see that he he, he started hustling way back you know he he knew how to manage his time you know it boils down to time management you know a lot of younger ones today will stay on the ipad and electronics and this young man here did forklifting and he did mcdonald's he did all of that with the mindset of owning a property tomorrow so that he can hand something down to his disciples you know, thanks for teaching me that word, disciples. I'm going to use it. <laughs> hey, my disciples, you guys watch out. <laughs> I got something for you. All, all right. So, um, but it's not so. That's great. So, you went through the prayer, prayer approval process, and then they told you this is how much you can afford because that's what prayer approval is. Yeah. You go through that one just for the bank to tell you this is how much house you can buy. Yes. At that point, you start looking at homes under that price range. Exactly. To see what we call um, home of choice, HOC, home of choice. Mm -hmm. So what helped you in, in identifying the location where to buy this property? Yeah. What area? So um, as you know, I'm a University of Maryland student. Okay. And so in order to figure out my housing at the time, I had to figure out, okay, what are properties around the area which is commutable for other students. Okay. So really that narrowed that selection of my home of choice into like areas around College Park, which is a reasonable distance to travel for college students. Mm. And so I know like with my pre-approval, that also was an indicator on what properties that I can look for, what properties would appeal to a college student, what properties weren't too far out for a college student mm. to go to University of Maryland. So. Mm. Mm. So you had those fellow students as prospects that would rent from you. Is that hey, what you're saying? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Mm. Smart. Smart. So he wasn't buying a property to lounge and just, you know, have one room for studying and one room for sleeping and one room for tennis shoes and the other one for... He had the rooms in the house to rent out to fellow students for income purposes, correct? Yes, sir. And this money was going to help you to pay the mortgage as, as you were st you know, still a student. Yes, sir. Okay. All right, all right. Wow, that's uh, that's that's a great incentive right there. Okay, so now you've been in the property. Um, you've got tenants in there. Did you say that they're, they're moving out? How, are they are they still there? Are they? Yeah. So they currently graduated from University of Maryland. So they're looking to go somewhere else um, to continue their career path. Oh wow! So does it mean you don't have tenants now? Not now, but I'm currently in the process of. Uh, bring in a new set of tenants. Oh, so you have prospects? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. All right, so that's good. So because once you rent them out, they have X amount of days or weeks to let you know that they're about to move out. Yes, sir. So you have time to, you know, advertise in college for, you know, that you have a room in the house. Yes, sir. Okay, so that's that's great. That way you don't, you always want to constantly have that flow, that cash flow coming in mm. um, because you don't want because you got mortgage to pay yeah now were your tenants paying weekly or monthly they're paying monthly better better deal because if they were paying weekly um, if they pay you weekly you might not keep all that money to the end of the month to pay your mortgage but if I'm glad that you did that the way they paid monthly so once they pay you have lump sum to pay your mortgage mm. and you move on to the next thing so okay so how and being a landlord, because now, now, now you've graduated from being the home to being a landlord. Yeah, yes, sir. What was your experience in being a landlord and the folks that are living in the house with you? Hmm. Um, what was that experience like? So it was a shock to graduate from being a homeowner to being a landlord. Like a big thing about being a landlord is management. 
you know you're basically responsible for like the property and the condition of your house mm. and so it was it was at first it was a challenge to juggle all those responsibilities mm -hmm. but over time that's when i realized okay i can adapt to this this is what i gotta do while maintaining the happiness of my tenants how do i continue and build my property from the ground zero okay awesome well it's been great um viewers you heard that from the sus um how he you know managed his growing up and he got younger ones who are looking up to him and how he dealt with thinking about for his disciples and uh, going through the pre-approval stage and down to settlement and became a homeowner um did you buy this house yourself or did you use a realtor i mean like you know hey yeah, shout out to uh, sold 100 <laughs> but i cannot have done this process without sold 100 so all right big shout out to them i appreciate you man. appreciate Anytime. you for the trust all right thank, thank you for the trust all right so um great guy um just during the pandemic i did receive in my office a wonderful gift and it's just to let you know that the mask that you sent over do you remember sending that mask? oh yeah it's still on my desk that's awesome it's still there hanging on my wall you know i got a mask and he sent that mask and he received it it was nice cloth mask i don't know that he kept the virus away but <laughs> the father was with a designer mask and i really appreciate it you yeah. know thank you very much anytime um you know so this will bring us to the end of the show today um just want to thank you for coming in i know as a student, you probably have um, projects out there. Yes, sir. Or and exams. And exams coming up. Yes, sir. Hey, let's let, let this young man go. Well, sorry. <laughs> let's let this landlord go back to <laughs> school so he can buy more properties when he graduates. Any advice to um, your friends in college or the younger ones who are 17 who should be you know, what should they be thinking now that they are, uh, you know, young, young adults? Yeah. So one advice I want to say is like it's never too early to start thinking about how you can build that generational wealth um but you're a college student keep an eye on the house market keep an eye on everything look at ways you can invest that way you can start early and then have bigger rewards when you grow so awesome awesome man wonderful wonderful advice so keep your eye on the real estate market and build wealth build generational wealth is what this young man is talking about yes sir all right guys so that's it you heard from this young man who turned the landlord um all he's talking about is how to build wealth guys keep your eye on the real estate market keep your eye on what's going on you know, pick the best time to do it don't you know as a young adult there's so many things think about your family family out there you've got your family to help you sit down on the kitchen table discuss this you know this is what i like to do how, how can you help me um in achieving my goal you know so that will be it and um thank you very much uh, we're gonna let you go back to school i know that you've you've got projects you've got exams coming up yes sir and uh appreciate you coming in um and um so that'll be it but hey you guys remember whatever the condition of the property and you want it sold, we'll get it sold here, here at Soul 100. 100.